I'm John. And I'm Robin. And we're at Tallahini, our farm in the Yass River Valley, northeast of Canberra by about 40k. The property's size is 250 hectares and we're mainly growing ultra-fine wool. And Tallahini means wait a while. And we called it that because when we came here it was a pretty run down place and we realised that while the effort was there from day one it was going to take a while to turn it around. Our climate here has changed in as much as our normal rainfall pattern has absolutely changed. We now get most of it in summer and we have dry cold winters and autumns and springs. And we've lost 100 millimetres of rain in the all important March, April, May period here. We've, if you like, regained that 100 millimetres in late spring, summer, which means we've got a far inferior rainfall pattern now than what we had 40 years ago for the agricultural systems and that that are traditional in this area. I, I find it absolutely remarkable of all the industries in Australia, agriculture is most probably the primary one that's going to be affected by climate change and yet the very so-called leaders of, uh, in political world relating to farmers continue to almost uh, deny the existence of climate change to the detriment of the rank and file farmers that they pretend to support. And I notice that there is uh, movements around for groups uh, of young people now to seek court action against uh, our politicians and that over their lack of action on climate change. And I say bring it on. It was so very barren and windswept and no protection for animals, with very limited protection and we had very severe winters, hard times. Uh, when we came here I contacted the authorities about it and they said look it doesn't matter what you do here, this is a regional problem. And I thought, well, I can't just sit here and, on this mess and do it, so I set about doing it. Those same authorities now regard our place as best practice in salinity management. Some fast-growing acacias and the slower-growing ukes behind them have proved to be a mainstay of our shelter belts. Revegetating has been crucial in the turning around of uh, Tallahini. We've combated dryland salinity, We've increased biodiversity. We've sesquestrating 11 times our emissions in carbon, and we've increased infiltration and reduced runoff to make more efficient use of um, the, the limited rainfall we get. But then the most telling thing on top of all that, we've achieved the absolute uh, uh, near pinnacle in terms of our production. The uh, Superfine Wool Growers Association run an annual fleece competition and this year we entered it, quite frankly, it was the first time I've entered it. And we were surprised to find that we actually won the best fleece for the Goulburn Yass region with a very solid um, 93 points out of 100. In order to achieve the production potential we sought, we had to be in tune with our environment more. 